This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It's one thing to be able to draw lines and circles, but it's another to draw them accurately. That's where O-snaps come into play. O-snaps are one of the key features in AutoCAD that will enable you to draw accurately and precisely. O-snap is short for Object Snap. They force you to automatically draw from a specific point on an object, or to an object, or draw to an object in a specific way. I just want to make sure that you get an introduction to them here, as well as some other methods of drafting. You're going to use O-snaps everywhere. In every way that you draw, you're going to need them, so you need to learn them. In fact, we've already shown you some of them, like end point, midpoint, and center of a circle. We're going to look at them in depth in a later section. But right now I want to make sure I tell you what they are so that when I try to use them even more throughout the rest of the video, you won't be confused or lost. This way you'll have a much better understanding of what they are and what they do. O-snaps can be turned off and on, or they can be used individually, or a combination thereof. When you turn them on by pressing the F3 button, that is called the running O-snap because your O-snaps are always running. If you look down at your status bar, when you toggle the O snaps on and off, you'll see in the command line that it tells you that O snaps off, O snaps on. This button right here will also toggle your O snaps off or on. Some people will even go so far as to get a five button mouse and program one of those extra buttons in the mouse to toggle the F3 button off and on, which turns the O snaps on and off on the fly. There are times when they get in the way. There are times, though, when you absolutely have to have them. They make drawing so much easier. So pressing the F3 button will toggle them off and on. And once they're on, they'll be running. And when they're running, I mean like your refrigerator is running type of a thing. They're always on. So let's get a quick demonstration. You draw a line, or any other object for that matter, and you draw another line again. Now since my O snaps are on, my running O snaps, when I go to draw a line, I can automatically snap to the endpoint of that line. You see that green box? That's an O-snap glyph. Think hieroglyph. You know, like a, ancient um, Egyptians have hieroglyphics. Well, this glyph will tell you that that is a endpoint. You'll also get a word that says endpoint. That's if your dynamic input is on. If I turn that off by pressing either F12 or clicking on the status bar down here below, I get a little different indication. It's just the green box, and then it says endpoint. So sometimes you may want to turn that off. Now there are other O snaps available to you besides endpoint. If you type in OS on the command line, press enter, this will open up your drafting settings dialog box. These are all of the object snaps that you have available to you. Whichever ones are checked on, will be the ones that are functioning during your running O snaps. You can select everything if you want, or you can turn them all off. Typically for me, the way I use them is I turn everything on except for nearest and parallel. I really like having all of these other O snaps on. We'll go over each of them uh, very briefly. This is the end point that will snap to the end of an object, like a vertex or a vertice on a line. This is the midpoint, it will go to the middle of an object. The center will go to the center point of a circle or arc. A node will go to like a dimension it's a, or a point. Uh, dimensions, we'll talk about them later, they have uh, dimension points and that's measuring the distance between those two points and that's where the node is. The quadrant will snap to a circle or arc or ellipse or one of those various types of objects. And the quadrant is in the top, the bottom, the left, and the right extreme portions of that circle or arc. The intersection is where two objects intersect. An extension will cause a temporary extension of a line or arc so you can continue on its pathway, and then it will take you to some other point. Insertion is if you have a block that has an insertion point, and it will snap right to that point. Perpendicular is very useful. It will bring something, well, perpendicular to another object. Tangent will draw a tangent line to an arc or a circle. 
The nearest will pick any point on an object that your crosshairs are nearest to when you click your mouse. That can be very dangerous because you don't know exactly where it's going. But sometimes that's okay. Sometimes you just want to be on the object and you don't really care exactly where it is. So it's useful, but that's why I turn it off because this will overwrite a lot of things. I'll show you later on. An apparent intersection is where two lines would intersect if they continued on, but maybe they've been broken or trimmed or something. And parallel can be difficult to use, but it will make a line, well, parallel to another object. Now, even though your running O snaps are on, and you're trying to draw something, endpoint, midpoint, or another endpoint here, you can override this at any time just by typing in the short key command for that snap. For instance, endpoint is END. Press Enter. Now, once you type that in, though, regardless of what you do, it will always snap to an endpoint, even with your running O snaps are on. If you type in the wrong thing, just click somewhere arbitrarily. Your command is still going, but it clears that out. You can always shift and then right click to have a list of all of your O snaps here available to you. You can pick the endpoint, midpoint, intersection, etc. Let me show you nearest very quickly. This is what it looks like. It's going to snap here to any point on this line. And it draws it right to the line. So that's the general idea for O snaps. We'll talk about them in depth a little bit later on, but we'll really dig down in and deep and show you some tricks that you can use with them. But uh, otherwise, we're going to use them off and on throughout the rest of this video.